right, guys, we are back with some more unboxings today. We got quite a few to go through today, so we'll get it started. First, we're going to start with the European expansion for Wingspan. Um, I think right now Wingspan is probably the family's favorite game. Um, if you haven't played it, it's an awesome, awesome game. Really fun to play, good strategy, um, great theming. So let's see what we got here. We got nice big, look at that beautiful artwork. Just love the artwork in this game. Oh, we have purple eggs now. Nice. Um, always nice to get more resource holders. We got a whole new purple. We got another uh, score sheet. We got a whole nother purple deck box. Really nice. We got some more resources and looks like some more uh, round counters or uh, end of round references. So more resources and more birds. Let's see if we can get these open here. All right. Gotta love getting cards out. <laughs> All right, so we got the Eastern Imperial Eagle, Benelli's Eagle, Montague's Harper. This artwork is just the best on here. These cards are just laid out so well. Their iconography is so good. It's that nice linen finish, the heavy, the real heavyweights. Common Starling, Common Swift, House Sparrow, Rough, Greater Flamingo, and Quinn's Go common half of these I can't pronounce, but that's okay. <laughs> you can see what we got here, and then we got looks like we got some new um cards, some new uh secret cards. Can't think of what I'm trying to say here. Take a look at the other deck here. Get this one out. All right. Magpie, Crow, Vulture, T. Got some owls. A Eurasian Jay, that's pretty. White Stork. And it looks like there's a new, this is an end round. Uh, power now instead of just having the three the one time the once per round and the win activated some very some more very pretty birds and i think they have another one coming out this year a seabirds one which is going to be awesome Woodpecker, crossbill. Ooh, that's pretty. The European bee eater. Common blackbird. Snowy owl, which is on the cover. So, round end. If you use all four types of actions this round, play another bird, pay its normal food and egg cost. Interesting. If you use all... Yeah, that's what seems to be... This one here is choose one other player from each action cube on their cash one from, huh. So it looks like you get new actions and new powers, which should be interesting. So that is the European expansion for um, Wingspan. And we will uh, go to the next one. All right, guys. Next we have um, Mesozoic from Z-Man. This is a game where you, you're, I believe it's a tile placement game where you build your own kind of, kind of build your own Jurassic Park, I think. So let's open it up and see what we got inside here. A little bit of a smaller box game. Like the, uh, like the artwork on the cover, really pretty. Putting the orange against the blue makes it pop. So we have our little guide here. 
kind of how to play your instructions. Front and back. Looks like we have a nice healthy book of score pads. We have a timer. That's not bad quality. Not bad at all. And then looks like we got a couple of decks of cards here. Like I said, this is a, a if I understand correctly, this is kind of like a card laying game where you build everything up and you match your cards and try to score points. So you're gonna have landscapes on all your cards. The cards aren't bad quality. A light linen finish on these. Some of this artwork's really pretty. <laughs> That's kind of cute. So yeah, you got all these tiles, and it looks like. Let's take a look here. Let's look through and see what we got. We got topiaries. We got looks like paths. All this stuff. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. That's <laughs> dinosaur in a big bubble. <laughs> So I like this artwork. This artwork is cute. It's a little bit more kid friendly. I think this really is kind of a kid's game. So looks like these might be a reference card of some type. And then the other side, so these are the backs of the cards, has the dinosaur topiary. And it looks like you've got more on your reference cards there. So the other deck, let's see what we got here. So we got the same backs on everything. It looks like hmm, a couple of different cards there. Don't know what those are for. We'll figure it out. And more paths and you know, terrain, kind of a terrain card is what it is because you're going to be building your own park here. So and lining everything up and so these I. These are player cards, pretty sure. So you can pick your player. All right, guys, so that is Mesozoic. And we will move on to the next one. All right, guys, next we have Monkey the Card Game. On the back it says, Fight off Kurgle the Magic Wizard as you race to complete the treetop challenge in this mythical one to five player card game. All right, let's take a look here. And this is from gy the company Gyrating Hamsters. Let's take a look. Nice thick box. Really nice. Really like this artwork. Really pretty. So we got a. Looks like it has a says it has a Spellorama expansion included. So we have an overview. Folded overview of your setup and. All your rules with game variations. And let's go a couple of decks of cards here. Alright. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh. Hey! There we go. All right, so looks like we got some player's aids. Now these cards, really nice linen finish on these cards. Really nice. The cards are of kind of a thinner weight. Not bad though. Not the thickest cards in the world. And this looks like these are the spell card rules for Spellorama, whatever that is. And then we have Really pretty art. I really like the artwork in this. Axes and anvils. Can't have a monkey game without bananas, I guess. Drums. Oh, that spider is pretty cool. Skulls. Looks like a kind of a demon fairy or something. Some gauntlets. This is really pretty artwork. I really like this artwork a lot. So no text on any of this so far. So this is the back of the cards. This has the 
one monkey on there. See if we can get this one open. Whoa, first try. You get lucky once in a while. Alright, so it looks like this is a different deck. And it's got a couple of extras for the last deck, which looks like gems, toads, and toadstools. And then these look like they're all number cards. Really, really do like this artwork. It kind of pops. Simple, yet effective. So it looks like you got multiple colors and multiple numbers here. So that is Monkey the Card Game. And we will get it played through a couple of times and probably do a review of it here pretty soon. So we will go on to the next one. All right, guys. Up next, we have, a, we have Fairy Trails, which is a UA Rosenberg game done by Paper Plane Games. Been waiting for this game. Uh, it's a really light uh, game. Um, it's one to two players, 20 minutes. I, I kind of just bought it for the solo game. I thought the artwork, when I saw the pictures, the artwork was really pretty. So kind of a cute uh, cute cover there. Nice little artwork, little fairies and stuff. So we start off. We have a nice little large text. Love large text. Always easier to read. Don't think this game is going to be too overly complicated. Very simple. So we got some little pieces here. Cute purple and yellow. And then the boon of my existence cards, cards, and cards, and cards. Trying to get cards open. Take a look here. So, these are the little tile cards you got here, which you make your little trails. So you can see there's purple trails and yellow trails in the little houses. So, fairly simple. These are a slick finish. Nice little iconography on it. Fairly easy to understand what's going on. At least as far as I see. There's a decent thickness on the cards. They're not bad. They're not, you know, it's nothing out of this world. So, well, that's the unboxing for this one. Let's go on to the next one. Hopefully we will have a review of this one up soon. All right, guys. Next up we have Aqualand from Cosmos. Been really waiting for this game. It's an abstract uh, strategy game that has... Um, tiles with sea life on them and you uh, match either the color or the icon that is on it so let's take a look at this really pretty packaging really pretty packaging very simple kind of a thin little board but not bad it's really pretty graphics on the back this is going to be one of those games that's going to be really really simple in its rules but really hard to master so those are very simple instruction manual. And then we have the tiles. Let's take a look at the tiles here. Quite a few tiles. Oops, I'll dump them right in there. All right, so we have a little grouper fish, sea turtle, looks like a jellyfish. Starfish, seahorse, be remiss they didn't have the seahorses considering seahorse are on the cover, and looks like the crabs. These are nice weighty little pieces. I, I The only thing that I wonder is how long that this uh, printing on them will, will last. That's the only thing that I would have a question about, but other than that, they're good weighty pieces. Nice little board. This is going to be a really quick little game. So, on to the next one. 
All right, guys, next we have Portal Heroes. This looks like a really cool looking little card game here. So, really awesome, awesome artwork on the top. I really like that cover by Amigo, it looks like. But in the box, so we have our the goal of the game, our instructions. Looks fairly straightforward, nothing major here. It's just really not bad text on the booklet there. And what is this here? Let's see what this is. Looks like this is to be torn. I hope. It looks like these might be little just paper players boards maybe we had kind of a green one and then a purple one blue orange or red and then a kind of a lighter green one okay and then the first deck of cards here oh big tabs Woohoo! Almost makes me feel like I could get through a deck of cards. So it looks like cool iconography. You can see the the scroll work here, kind of the intertwined. That's can that looks like it might be a little hard to see. That's a little easier to see on the sevens there. Sixes, fives, fours, threes. That's not bad. Ones. These do have a nice linen finish. They are a thinner card, not a real, not a real thick card. The back has the tr has a treasure chest on it, which bad. You can kind of see that linen finish there. So let's get this other one going here. Okay, so these have diamonds on the back. Oh, maybe they aren't. Maybe this is these are this is the front. So they have all diamond cards. There's one eight at the bottom. And then it has oh it was wrong. We got a dwarf there. We got it looks like a phoenix. That dragon's pretty cool looking. Oop, Grim Reaper. Flying monkeys. Okay, this game is automatically awesome. It has flying monkeys. So you can see this artwork is, it's not bad. I don't think it's great, but the artwork on this doesn't seem quite as nice as the artwork on the cover is that artworks a little bit better than what this artwork is but we'll check it out see what it looks like that's portal heroes nice little small box card game nice so now we'll move on to the next one all right next guys we have tiny epic tactics This is a cool. I love the Tiny Epic games that we have Tiny Epic uh, quests and we have Tiny Epic dinosaurs. And then I have Ultra Tiny Epic galaxies, which I have shown in a different video. Let's see if we can get this open. A tactical combat game. All right, as per usual, game land. Use this for dice and stuff. Nice thick. They their boxes are always extra thick. Nice artwork as always. Big rule books. Gamelin always has pretty decent rule books. So we have a 
a decent box of meeples here, meeples and pieces. So we have little heart tokens. We have some sort of like maybe uh, exhaustion tokens. And we have the player tokens. Archer, these are printed on, really nice. And then looks like foot tokens. And then we get into the cards. So we'll set those right there. First thing is this small deck of cards here. And the receivable. So, as always with Game One, Linen Finish. All of these are their cards, for whatever reason, their cards always seem really slick. But good quality, not not the thickest quality, but but decent quality. They'll hold up over time. We have the dice, kind of pearlescent finished dice. Those are kind of really nice, kind of a swirled pearl dice. Put those there, another deck of cards, and let's see if we can get those open. My trusty little knife here. It's always easier with a trusty little knife. As long as you don't damage the cards. Of course, I gotta have the most difficult time with. Alright, so. So we got Gamelin the Knight, Senshi, Korgak, Hluver, King Glut, Jolene, Lelithar, Umog, Aaron, Ulrich, Clotho. Always nice. They always do good on their uh, artwork. Luna, Lorwyn, Prince Orn. You can see all these. It's cool. Nice, not really nice, uh, the red ghost. That's kind of cool. Really nice iconography. They usually do really good. Now we got the cloth. And then all the little pieces to build your... These are really heavy duty. These are going to hold up. It's one of the, word, the one of the things I would be worried about if it wasn't Gamelin. Gamelin always makes these really nice. And then you stack them up to make your um, your territories your where you're doing all your tactics. So, so that is Tiny Epic Tactics. Looks great. And that'll do it for this unboxing, guys. We hope you enjoyed all these. Um, and we're try to get some of these played and um, reviewed here real soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye.